tonight on Ultimate Tech. Please welcome Krishan Shani Malone. Our name shouldn't be Donna Mike. What, why? Hold the route. Oh, 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 no, no, no. slow. Three, two, one. Go. Well, I attend at Santa Monica in California. Two years, I ran track. Krishan on the track is a beast. It is my world. She likes to outdo herself. Make a new day. Like I yell, scream, set, ooh, go. Overcoming it. That's what she's supposed to do. This is where I release all my anxiety. What I come from is kind of what a, like people wouldn't expect. You wouldn't know until I say something. I'm 20 right now. I'm six years older. I'm a family of, well, a sibling of 12. I'm number eight. <laughs> I'm number eight out of 12. Krishan is number 11. I grew up. A lot of areas, Radish, Franklin, McCullough. My dad was incarcerated for 11 years. My mom was at work a lot. Yeah, like, and then, like, she, she was on drugs. When I was little, she used to braid my hair and walk me to school. <sighs> she used to braid my hair, walk me to school, and things like that. Um, and then it starts slowly progressing to her always in the bed. Um, I, uh, witnessed my dad, you know, abuse her. I met him when I was seven because he came home. He was locked up for like, for like, I don't know how long. I went through abuse. So like getting like either choked out or like beat on. We went from one, like probably one bedroom apartment and it's all of us to living with people. I say nine years I've been homeless for. When I was nine and when I first went homeless and when she said we was gonna get a home, like I kept believing that and it ended up being like, oh, I'm, I'm 15, 16 now. I'll go through all my day because I'm focused in my class, my friends, oh, at lunch, oh, we're going, oh, I got training with this coach. But then when all that's over, I'm like, oh, shit, I don't have a home. I start getting love and support from like my coaches, my friends, and things like that. And then everything just start changing for me. Here's Shawnee. I'm the youngest in the competition. I've been through more than most. It was a struggle growing up. My show called, I was like so overwhelmed. I'm like, okay, cool, you want me to come on? I've been tapped in beast mode this whole time. I'm ready to just win this money. Let's go. Oh, I won. I won the money. I went on there. They was like, yeah, we, we knew Krishan was coming here for the money. Yes. I need the money. It's not a sad story. It's a motivation story. But how she keep her legs up be like? For her to be, still be up on top, like, hey, I'm right here, that shows you that she is a warrior. As a young, black, beautiful woman, I am a survivor. She's a champion. Period. Just breathe. Since I didn't have a childhood, I should I have, Set. then I can have the future that I deserve. Go. She is so fast and so incredible. She deserves all that money and so much more. Krishan, thank you for sharing your incredible story with us. Basically, y'all watched a little video and yeah, it said that I went through abuse. I didn't say who exactly I went through abuse with, so I didn't, that's, don't put it on my dad, because my dad, he was rough with me, but he ain't never really abused me, but yeah, that was that, I want to clear that part up, and I don't know, what else, what you got to say about it? I just want to know, it's upsetting, me and my sister, that if we can't party at, um, at Fox 45, then when can we party at? fight at their weddings all the time if you was beefing at that wedding you should have been beefing at that wedding why would you bring that to somebody else's club <laughs> that's sad all right that's, that's all i had to say that's all she had to say it's upset me and my homegirl that we can't party and we never said nothing about my mother we would never disrespect my mother like that all right <laughs> i forgot something else <laughs> I ran track since I was in seventh grade. My first year of running track, I qualified to go to the Olympics. I ran for this team called I-5 Elite, they're dope as hell. Um, and once I got that exposure and traveling the world, I went to Michigan, Iowa, Florida, 
Atlanta, Texas. Like I was traveling just for track and just qualifying for Junior Olympics. That just got me dope experience. That's the real story for real. And um, I only attended at Santa Monica for like a year. And I, that was my second year of college. My first year of college, I was at Feather River College. And I ran track there. And that's where I could have had the opportunity to win all conference. Like some of the story kind of got all mixed up. And then um, I had an opportunity to win all conference or an opportunity to go on the show. For my first year of college, I had two options. Run all conference and win it, or go to the TV and show and win that break. And I just picked whatever I wanted, and either or would have ended the way it's supposed to with success in my career.